and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate hydraulic gradient. Okay, what is hydraulic gradient? Hydraulic gradient is a line joining the points of highest elevation to the lowest elevation. As you can see in the diagram, we have highest elevation and the lowest elevation. Okay, how to calculate hydraulic gradients? So we will uh, express hydraulic gradient with I. I is equal to H2 minus H1 divided by L. Okay. What's, what is H2 and what is H1? H1 is a <coughs> highest elevation and H2 is the lowest elevation. It's supposed to be other way around. H1 minus H2. Okay. So we will get delta H divided by L which is change in height okay H1 we have 4 meters minus H2 we have 1.5 meters divided by length we have 6 meters so we will get 0 0.416 meter okay the height difference 4.4 minus 1.5 we get 2.5 which is delta h is equal to 2.5 meters okay and if we divide it to the length we will get the initial point where our hydraulic gradient starts i mean where our highest elevation to the lowest elevation starts let's say we have we have got 0 0.416 and this is our start point of our hydraulic gradient so this is our hydraulic gradient line this line represent hydraulic gradient so the first point we have 0 0.416 meter and once we get to the lowest elevation we will have 2.5 meter okay so that's how you calculate hydraulic gradient you you can just write it down I is equal to 0 0.416 this is a starting point so it means from from this height the, our line starts from this height to 2.5 so this is our end point end point of our hydraulic line that's how you calculate hydraulic line okay what is the reason of calculating this basically in real life when you ha have to connect a pipeline from one city to another city and sometimes you have different elevation of the cities so we calculate the hydraulic gradient hydraulic gradient basically represent energy lost if you have fluid coming from highest elevation to the lowest elevation then obviously when it flows down its uh, its flow reduces and its height of the fluid also reduces which create a hydraulic gradient we can also say this is a energy loss as well energy loss and that's it for today uh, thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel